Hi everybody, Brandon Besser here, aka Mr. B. Um, today I'm going to repot this uh, Hawaiian umbrella tree. Um, the roots are literally growing out of the pot. That's not due to it being root bound. Um, that's just the nature of the species. It happens every so often. So first I'm gonna I'm gonna take these yellow leaves off. I'm just gonna clean the top. I've got some shrapnel here. That can go. Spider somewhere. And not too much to prune, so we're just going to get into it. Had lots of rain the past few days. This species I found does require repots pretty frequently. This guy here is uh, not taking water as it used to. And we're going to take off most of these. These are actually similar to the air roots, but yeah, they're all shriveled up now. They couldn't find anywhere to be. So we'll take those off too. I'm going to be really careful with these air roots here because I don't want to disturb those. I'd rather see them hit the soil and start getting thick. So we're going to try to avoid those. Most of these, these are roots are mostly all shriveled up and dead. <clears throat> and that's perfectly fine. This tree actually was attached to a much larger uh, umbrella tree. Um, not sure I can see where right now. Must have been right here. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but these are actually just three uh, aerial roots that touched down and thickened up on their own. So we were able to turn it into its own tree just through those three aerial roots. Kind of unique. I work my way all the way around. Not sure what this is doing. Can take that out. These are my old, uh, my old branch cutters. 
use my old set for the roots. notice. This is actually why I wanted to repot it. Um, this root here is not doing well and we don't need it. But I was unsure why this why this root shrivel or not. I mean there's not a lot of roots so it wasn't in desperate need of a repot. Just kind of I thought it would be a good idea to investigate a little bit. And even here we are seeing some rotted roots. So we'll take those off. up the rest of this soil. Whoops, jeez. <laughs> happens a lot. This doesn't happen unless I push record. And then it happens. Now since there's not a ton of roots, I'm just going to take a little bit, I'm not going to take a lot. Since a lot of these roots, um, since these roots seem so raw, and I must be overwatering it, so that's something for me to keep in mind. These are generally pretty thirsty. And that probably explains why it hasn't looked super healthy lately. more room. So I've come in here to see what's going wrong and the discovery's been made. I've been doing these a long time. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe the pot doesn't drain as well. I noticed the drainage holes were quite a bit small. Um, maybe what I'm going to do is choose a pot with uh, larger drainage holes. And that should help with the problem I'm having here with this one tree. Um, I got these, I've been doing these a long time, this species here. And I've never had a problem with overwatering. And you'll notice sometimes different pots drain different ways. So we're gonna save this pot for something that's a little bit thirstier, I guess. Um, and I'm gonna go find one that hopefully will take care of this issue we're having with this tree. So, looking at my uh, my pot collection here, we can tell that it's getting towards the end of summer because I don't have much left. So, I'm going to put it in this container. It's a lot bigger than the one I just took it out of, um, and it's honestly pretty big for this tree, but it's either that or back to a training, training container, and we'll just use this one. It's no biggie. I'm using a mixture of my soil and the last of my purchased soil. But on the other hand, this will give me a little bit more room if I wanted to spread these out, which I'm not particularly sure that's something I even want to do anyway. Let's have a quick look. I'm just going to leave it just as it is. <clears throat> right, let's check position. Now is the best time to make any adjustments to the look or style of the tree. Um, this is not particularly the, the best looking tree anyways. Um, it's only had roots for one year. It's only been separated from the mother tree for one year. Um, so it does still need more time. I'm going to take more roots off. And I'll tell you why. I'm gonna take this. Um, because I don't like the back of these leaves. I don't know if you can see that. Um, they don't look great. So I'm gonna defoliate this whole tree. Even though it's light, um, it's a tropical. It's got all, it will slow down in the winter, but. Let's just encourage some new growth. A little more soil. these roots are positioned a little bit. And the tree, like I said, it's not really the best looking tree anyways. And that's okay, that just means it needs some more time. A little bit more time for me to fool around with it. Normally the roots aren't supposed to cross, but 
This tree is all roots <laughs> already. I'm not sure. Huh? I, I separated it because I thought it was just kind of unique. And then you just. One mound of soil right there. And that's for one of these roots to rest on. This guy right here. Okay. Well, we're going to have to just do it. I mean, it does look kind of nice that I can spread these roots out a little bit more, in hindsight. Okay. Yeah, I have <clears throat> I have one supersized Hawaiian umbrella tree, and my goal last summer was to just repot that tree, and that turned into a six-hour marathon of separating all these other trees. So I took that one tree, and we got several others from it. It's just the nature of how the species grows. These air roots uh, hit the ground. I'll show you the other ones I have. Pretty unique. I mean, this one's almost too unique. But I didn't know what else to do with it other than I could have left it on the tree. But I thought it'd be kind of fun. It looks a little fun. Something a little different. It just needs more years. It needs a few more years of development. Hopefully this pot drains better. So I have to blame that. I can't blame my watering. I'm pretty familiar with this species. It was reaching a point where it seemed like it taking longer to water so I was thinking it was dry but evidently it was something else and these leaves um, they don't look great so there's something going on with this tree just packing this in if you notice I don't wire my trees in I try to just balance them if I can if I can't, I'll use wire, but most of the time I can just balance.
Now I've got to take this tree over to, I didn't know we were giving it a bigger pot today, so it's not going to fit in my five gallon bucket here. So I'm going to bring it over to give it some water. Okay, we're all watered. Um, these leaves don't look great. So I'm trying to decide if I want to take them off. Yeah, I'm going to take them off. There's something going on with this tree. And at the least, we're going to be encouraging encouraging this tree to give us something back that's more desirable anyway because it's not really a good shape up here yet anyway it's still a young tree well it's on its first uh, solo mission here in there somewhere. I've never done this on this species um, at this time of year, but I'm not particularly worried. The growth of this tree has not been strong this year, and that's probably coming down to the watering. Usually if a tree's not doing good, it's the watering. Almost always, let's just say that. As long as it's getting everything else it needs. Yeah, these are, these have got spots all over them. I don't know what's going on with it. So. Take these. Usually, I leave these on, but we're just gonna encourage it to really gonna replace these. I think I cleaned them, hoping that these were gonna. I talked about it yesterday. I loved them for the first two months. And these, let me tell you something about these, now that I've, now that you can see in here. Um, I've finally cracked the code on these. This guy, well, if it were to be left alone, which it's not, because I'm going to cut it right here. Um, they'll just keep going and going. But I've noticed that if you cut it where it's all green below, it dies back. To where you first start seeing this bark showing up um and for years i just i just pruned them and crossed my fingers that they're gonna grow something where i want them to like a ficus like a ficus you can cut and you know where the new growth's gonna be these um in my experience are not like that at all But I did discover that I just uh, I kept thinking about it and kept looking. See, so, yeah, I don't know what's up with all these little dots. And I hope you can see that. I'm having focus problems with this camera phone. Um, so hopefully this will. 
give us a bunch of new branches here. black dots. It hasn't grown strong all year. That's all we're going to do with this today. But I will show you um, the other Hawaiian umbrella trees that I uh, that came off. I'll show you the mother tree and I'll show you all the trees that I got off of it last summer. Um, yeah, look, I, don't, I don't even know what that is, but if it's disease, I, I'm cutting it off. Um, so I'll, I'll show you those. Other than I did sell a few of them, but I'll show you what I got left at least. So I'm sure somewhere I've documented how many I got off of this one tree here. So this is the mother tree. Um, it's, you know, pretty large. Um, this is these will grow their own separate roots eventually that's what that's where a lot of these others came from and all of these like this spot here this spot here all those little spots ended up being their own trees because um we just um they're just air roots that touch the soil so we're able to separate all those um so once i separated that you know, we're still working on the shape of this. It's kind of flat on the top. Um, but, let's see, what I've discovered, at least what I've found, is if I cut this long branch here, maybe it'll branch here or here, but I'm finding that in most cases, it goes all the way back to, um, let's see, all the way back to here usually um maybe i'll well i'm gonna be pruning it soon anyways before i bring it in um but anyways i only have a few left to come to the, um come to that conclusion but this is my favorite one right here this one's like, kind of like the other one but you know it's it's perched on these four roots two three four um it almost had kind of an animal shape in the spring, but that's all kind of growing in now. We've got some long branches in the back. Um, they're all ready for pruning, so maybe I'll do that soon. Um, these air roots right here, these are all going to touch the ground, hopefully. Um, those will start getting thick like the rest of the, uh, the roots. Um, and they can either stay that way or they can become their own separate trees. So that one's kind of my, my favorite, aside from the mother tree here. Um, and then I just have a couple smaller ones here. Like I got this one right here, a little cutie. Um, lots of air roots also. They, they make air roots in this climate better than the ficus. And then this guy, also been slow this year, slow to grow. Um, yeah, and that's all I have left. I, I think I almost had 10 of them at the end of the, at the, I mean, at the beginning of the summer. So people seem to like them. This one I kind of, and like I said, it's their, this is their first summer away from the mother. So there's still work to be done with the shaping and training. But anyway, we'll stop the video there. Um, and we'll try to just, you know, I'm just recording what I do every day. I'm not sure I'll have a video tomorrow because we're, um, we're dropping my daughter, my only daughter, off to college tomorrow. So that's going to be very weird. And she wants to bring um, all her trees. She wants to bring this ficus. But I've been working on this ficus for 10 years. And she's not bringing it. 
but she is going to bring pickle her, her succulent. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. Enjoy.